Now, now, the longest running talk show in the central panhandle. Ask the master auto technician with James Morris on Fox News Radio 94.5 WFLA. All right, hey, this is James Morris. We're at Friday Fest. I'm interviewing people at Mantle Street. Hey, my name is James. What is yours? Steve. Steve. M. Hawk. Steve, now tell me what concerns you about what's happening in our in our economy, our Bay County. What what's on your mind? Well, right now, privatization. Every Coke Brothers for 30 years been trying to privatize Social Security. Try, the uh, the Walton family has spent hundreds of millions of dollars, or hundreds of thousands of dollars in Florida to privatize our our schools. And everybody who's into privatization is simply trying to make money by taking the commons away from the people. And explain that. What do you mean the commons away from the people? By taking money from them? Is that what you're saying? They'd like to take all the government property, all the people's property, uh, and all the people's services and make money off of it. Like a community comes together and they want to, they want to educate the children. So we form a public school system, which we've been doing for hundreds of years. But then somebody else comes along and says, well, I can do it better because I, I got the profit motive. But the, what we're doing is we're losing the community spirit. No one really wants to do anything for the community anymore unless they can make money. And we need to get away from that motive. Making money is what's polluting the world. It's what's dividing the world. It causes even wars. Well, we know it causes wars. We understand that money, they say the love of money is the root of all evil. But you got to have money or businesses can't survive. I mean, I okay. mean I'm mean, i a businessman. i got to make a profit or I can't keep my doors open. Okay. Well, I've been a businessman all my life. Yeah. I, I, you make a profit, right? Yes. And profit is okay. Yes. Corporations are okay. Uh -huh. But privatization of public commons by corporations for the sake of making money and destroying the community is not okay. All right. Well, thank you so much for your point of view. We'll make sure we'll have it on Ask the Master Auto Technician probably next week or so. And, right. and Steve, thank you so much for being on. Nice I appreciate it. You, James. All right. Thank you, Steve. Hey, this is James Morris. I got Brian Rust. He's running for county commissioner. Is that right? Yes, sir, James. Uh, tell, sir, James. I like that. Okay. <laughs> now, tell me what what, what Bay County Commissioner spot you're running for. Who are you running against? I'm running against uh, Mike Thomas right now. Mike Thomas. For his seat. And his seat. That's on the beach, right? Correct. All right. Now, what makes you think you can do a better job than Mike Thomas? Experience of, uh, of dealing with issues that the average person deals with. Um, the, the difficulties a lot of people have financially, I can relate to that better than he can. Yeah, I know. Being an employee can make you really under... <laughs> I, know a lot, I know when you don't have any money, it sucks. So you got to make sure you got some money to pay the bills. Yeah, well, when you're not making $200,000 a year, yeah, you can relate a little bit better to people yeah. who have difficulties with paying the bills. So I've got a lot more common sense than he does. I understand the liberties and freedoms that, that we have that seem to be constantly taken away from us by our government. Can you give me an example of where you see some liberties have been taken away from the beach, maybe from some of the county commissioners or any liberties? I know there was some controversy about maybe someone saying we should make more arrests of people. Is that? I remember someone, there was some flack about that. Is there any comment on that? Uh, there was a comment that it happened with Mike Thomas. Um, you know, whether or not it was a slip of the tongue or if it was meant to be, that's maybe a Freudian slip or something. <laughs> it could be. I don't know. I mean, I don't know Mike well enough to, to, to say really. But, um, you know, I don't know if that was really a, 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 a taking away liberties. But, you know, the, the idea that the government would want to make more rules or anybody in the government just to be able to arrest people to discipline, I think is a little too much. Well, I noticed that there seems to be more police everywhere you're turning around. You can't really go anywhere without... It seems like we're turning into a police state. I mean, ever since 9-11, uh, uh, the police and the military seem to be getting bigger and bigger. I mean, it seems like the police are turning in more like the military. There's definitely a stronger presence, um, and, I, and in many ways, I'm okay with a, a strong presence. It's what they do with the presence that is the issue for me sometimes. Well, well just the other day in today's paper, someone commented June 26th, a, a, a person was arrested for panhandling in Bay County that said that was because they were hungry they had it and they were put in jail uh, what is your view about that how do you feel about that I don't think they should arrest people for something like that um, this is something where the the community should really get together and help these people rather than just arresting them because they're a nuisance to somebody I think that's going too far well I mean it, it kind of upsets me when the idea that we arrest people because they're hungry 
because that's why I thought we were supposed to do commission is to feed the poor, feed those who are less fortunate. And, you know, maybe they're panhandling. Yeah, I agree they're panhandling. Maybe they are a nuisance and everything. But do we really want to arrest people because they're hungry and they say, you know, I haven't eaten. I got a sign for that. I mean, I, I just feel that's wrong. And how do you feel? My viewpoint on that is it is wrong, you know, to arrest somebody because they're hungry. I mean, people have got to eat. Um, rather than arresting them, let's get them a job. You know, if people had jobs and good employment, they wouldn't be hungry. Well, yeah, they, now, we had one gentleman just talk to us about how corporations need to be smaller. Or, or, well, they, it seems like the profit motive seems to be the reason the corporations is growing and it's destroying everything. But if we don't make a profit, we can't keep our doors open. We can't do it for free. And so how are we going to give people jobs if no one's hiring? Is there anything you can think of out there? Um, yeah, I mean, we, what we need to do is, is, is open the opportunities for more small businesses to be able to do business. Uh, it's become so expensive and so difficult for a small business person or an entrepreneur to get up and moving and get started yeah. that, you know, you have to rely on these corporations that have, you know, hundreds of lawyers and millions of dollars to be able to, to do business. And when you, when you don't have small businesses that do a lot of hiring, I mean, small business is the heartbeat of America. Yeah. So without it, you know, we do have unemployment issues, and corporations have their good things, and then there's a lot of bad about them. But I, I think that we really need to get back to having more of those small business, the local businessman, the person that, you know, the, the, the family, the guy that will hire the, the, his neighbors, and, and not have to worry so much about the bottom line, and get back to what actually made this country so great. All right, well, thank you so much, Brian. I appreciate it. Remember, you can vote for Brian Rust in the general election. He's running a not, uh, no party affiliation NPA. That what it is, NPA. Uh, so he'll be in the general election. He'll be running against Mike Thomas and who else? Is there someone else going to be running? Um, Jim Lawson. Jim Lawson, okay. So, and he's right across the right, right over here. All right. All right. Hey, this is James Morris. We'll be back in a minute. Thanks. Hey, this is James Morris. I'm here at Friday Fest. And who do I have right? Who are you, sir? Uh, my name is Scott Rose. Now, we might put this on. Can we use you? It's all right to use this on television. We want yes. to. All right. Thanks, Scott. Very much. Now, let me ask you a question now. What's on your mind that concerns you about what our Bay County, the United States? What's on your mind? You got 60 seconds. Tell me what. Well, there's mean. too much government interference. There's too much uh, taxes uh, on top of taxes on top of. Uh, taxes. Uh, we just plain and simple have too many regulations in place. Well, I have, as a small businessman, I have to agree with you right yes, there. Yes, it stifles the growth of small business. It stops uh, whatever small business, uh, whatever. <laughs> well, they say a rising tide floats all boats, and if everybody's doing well, everybody, you know, businesses exactly. do well. But uh, the way things are right now, we need to get rid of uh, a lot of the people that, that are in office right now and start over. So kind of like re-elect nobody. Right, exactly. I feel that way. Well, you know what? A lot of people feel just like you. And thank. And your name is Scott, right? Scott Sc Rose. Right, Scott Rose, thank you so much for being on here. I appreciate it. Thank you very much. Hey, this is James Morris. I'm here with Mr. Jim Lawson. He's running for, what seat are you running for? I'm running for Bay County Commission, James, District 5. I think everybody's running for Bay County Commission here, it seems like, today. I've talked to, you're the second one today. How many people are running for that position? Right now, there are two. Mr. Brian Russ, Jr., who'll be there in November. Yeah, right. No party affiliation. And Jim Lawson running against Mike Thomas. Apparently, Mike Thomas has some competition out there. It's about time he has some competition. I tried to provide that for him four years ago. Thought I had a great message and came up real short in winning that election. And by design, I didn't let anybody know that I was running. And for four years, I've been planning it. So I'm looking for and asking for your support and your vote. And I will appreciate it. All right. Well, you heard it. You, he's asking for your vote. So this is Jim Lawson. Give him a call. Is there a phone number they can reach you or if they want to help out or whatever? They can go to a website, James, because it's not only the phone number. It has a, a, a email address. It's votejimlawson.com. Easy to remember. Votejimlawson.com contact information i'll call you back i'll email you i'll come to your house i'll have coffee with you i'll come help work on your car and if and if you got any money to loan him he'll take that too so give him a call jim lawson go to jim vote jim is that right? right that's right and even i can remember that that's right and i can't do it alone i need your help let's do it together all right thank you, you heard it right here all right thank, thank you, you very we'll talk to you later now thank you sir Hey, this is James Morris. I got Les Nelson here, and you're running for another county commission job, too. Yeah, county commission three, county district three. All right. Where, where's that at? 
that's over there in the uh, St. Andrews area. All right. And uh, but you vote countywide. Everyone votes for every commissioner. Now that's now you're running as a Democrat or non-party affiliate. No, I'm running as a Democrat. I've always been a Democrat. But you know what? I love Republicans and I love Democrats and I love independents. Well, what I'm finding is a lot of people here are voting for the man, not just the party. And I hear, I've heard a lot of people tell me that tonight. Well, I, I hope they do. You know what I mean? Because that's how I did it. Right. When you're in the booth alone, it's your vote. Well, that's right. I have a lot of people tell me who I'm supposed to vote for. And I say, well, you'll never know. I agree with you, James. How's your golf? <laughs> my golf game. Now, now, he's asking this because my very first game I ever played was with him, and uh, we shot a it was the best ball tournament at Tyndall. We shot a 92, and I was so proud of myself. And I had my wife's clubs that were given to her, and since that time, now i play two, three times a week. You know. You're, you're almost a pro, and I'm, I'm still... A scrub. <laughs> no, I'm not almost a pro. But anyway, I wish you luck, Ness. Thank you, James. Ness. Ness. Ness, it don't matter. It doesn't matter. Anyway, we're going to put this up. Well, let me one thing. Right. Less taxes, less spending, less Nelson. Wow, that has kind of catchy. Yeah. Hey, that's almost as good as voting for James Morris for Bay County State Committee man. They'd be crazy if they didn't. <laughs> Thank just, you, Les. All right. James Auto Center. We fix it right. Guaranteed. Beep, beep. Beep, beep, yeah! Bay Dunes of Panama City. As you begin play on the front nine, expect forgiving fairways with gentle dog legs and very playable greens. As you make the turn at 10, the personality of the course becomes evident. Water comes into play on several holes, demanding accuracy from tee to green. The signature hole, number 13, is one of the most unique holes along the Gulf Coast. The green side bunkers play very fair, allowing bump and run shots without too many forced carries. Bay Dunes, one of Panama City's most enjoyable golf courses. Call for tee time, 8 Seven two sixteen sixty seven.